Hello everyone, I want to give you an introduction how PLM change management is handled in SAP S4HANA. The following functionalities are available in S4HANA on-premise starting with release 2020 FPS1 as well as on cloud system starting with S4HANA Cloud Edition 2111. In this video, I want to give you an overview how the setup of change item types is working. I will first show you some slides and then jump into the system for a live demo. Please note that we have used the latest S4HANA on-premise system, which is currently shipped to our customers. It has the state of S4HANA 2021 FPS0. Change items are defined as a different kind of SAP objects, like materials, bombs, recipes, or inspection plans. The maintenance of these change items is happening per change record type, and are available in the item tab of our change records. In general, we need to execute three activities to make our change items available in the change record. First of all, we need to define which change objects we want to enable in our change record. This means that we define which change objects we want to have available per change record type. For example, in change record type A, we will allow of adding materials, documents, and bombs. Secondly, the item relevance needs to get defined. This relevance is a kind of action which needs to get executed during the change process. So for example, do you want to change, create, or delete the attached object? Do you want to create a new version of it? Or do you only want to add the change object as a reference to the change record? SAP is delivering multiple standard relevance, which you see later in the demo. In addition, I will also show you how the setup of custom specific relevance in the S-Pro customizing is working. Lastly, you can also set up custom specific change object icons, or also known as thumbnails in the system. I will show you where you can find these icons and where you need to maintain them in the customizing. But let's now jump into the system to have a closer look how change items are getting maintained in our application. So first of all, I want to show you what we are meaning with change items or change objects. In this tab of the items, you see which kind of change items we have available in this change record type DIS. So in this case, we have documents available as well as materials and material bombs. But how is this set up? Therefore, we will jump to the escrow customizing of our change records. We are accessing the already known structure, logistics general, PLM, change records, and then settings for engineering changes. Here we are accessing our main customizing define engineering change record types. Opening this customizing table, we're seeing here our different change record types. And in the dialog structure, we're seeing the folder of the reference objects. So for example, accessing the change record type DIS and checking the reference objects, we are seeing the different kinds of change objects which are maintained on our DIS change record. If we are, for example, at additional reference objects, we're going via the new entries button, opening the F4 help of the objects type. And in this example, we want to add routings to our change record types saving it and going back to our change record application doing a reload we see that we have easily added a new change object in this example our routings as next i want to show you how the item relevance is maintained therefore we're jumping into edit mode of our change record in this example, we are adding a newer material as a change object to our change record. We are selecting via the for helper material, and then you have here 
these relevance fields available where you can make a selection on this drop down which kind of relevance you want to select. As already mentioned in the PowerPoint, this relevance gives information about which kind of action the users needs to perform during the change management process. So in these examples, do you want to change the material? Do you want to create this material as a new one? Is this material maybe not relevant? Or you only want to add this material as a reference? In this example here, we are selecting change as a relevance. The setup of this relevance is also happening in our main customizing table. Here we are selecting the folder in the dialect structure of the item relevance. Here we are maintaining the different kind of relevances. So as you just have seen on the Fury side, in this example, change, create, not relevant or reference. We have also the possibilities to add additional relevances. So for example, delete, save it. And if we go back to the Fury, we see that the new relevance is also available on the change item. SAP is delivering multiple standard relevances, which you see here on the for help. In case you also want to enhance your change processes with custom specific relevance, you have the possibility in the customizing to maintain under the SPRO table of define item relevance. So here you can add your own relevances and give them your own descriptions. This relevance is for sure also then available via the F4 help in our main customizing where you define the change record types. Lastly, I want to show how you define change object thumbnails for the change items. Therefore, we are accessing again our main customizing of the Define Engineering Change Record Types, selecting a change record type, going into our Reference Object folder, selecting the materials and going one level deeper into the folder of Refer Reference Object Icons. Via the for help, we are saying for which change object we want to maintain a thumbnail and then we need to maintain the icon in the column of the replace icons. Please note that SAP is delivering the always default icons in our system. So you only need to maintain this folder if you want to replace these default icons and add custom specific icons. To review what kind of different icons or thumbnails we have available in SAP, you need to access the sub icon explorer. In the SAP Icon Explorer, you are accessing the sub icons, and then you see all the different kinds of, of icons which are enabled on the Fiori side. You can search for them. You can also select here different kind of tags, and then selecting an icon what you want to maintain on the Fiori side. Copy this technical item description. Going back in customizing and pasting the technical icon description in the column of the replace icons. If we are then going back to the Fury side and adding a material, we see that this icon, what we have selected on the sub icon explorer, is available on a change record after maintaining it in customizing, not only in this line item view, also for sure when we are accessing the detail view. If this material would be connected to, uh, for example, 3D visual document file, then the preview of this 3D visual would be also available here on this icon. Thank you, everyone. I hope I give you an overview how the setup of change item types is handled. You should now understand how change objects and change object relevance gets maintained in the change record as well as how a setup of custom specific object icons is working.